This vlog life is so expensive. I broke my camera. So I've been cheating on my diet like crazy. Between the move, the trip to New Orleans, and just general like busyness, I've really fallen off. Because of that, I'm probably up about eight to 10 pounds. Not bad, but it's, but it's definitely something that, you know, I wanna get a control of sooner than later. What my plan is, is I'm gonna do a three day bone broth fast. So in three days, what I'm gonna have for every meal is bone broth. I'm gonna use a special grass-fed, pasture-raised bone broth that comes from beef and bison and uh, a little bit of pork, but that, you know, uh, I get it out of this company called Oh So Good out of San Francisco, California, out of Marin County, where my buddy Chris lives. What's up, Chris? Um, and I'm gonna use their bone broth for the next three days. The only exceptions I'm gonna allow to this, to this fast is my Topo Chico mineral water, which I cannot break that habit. Like that's, that's it. But it's not bad for you, so, you know. Topo Chico mineral water. Coffee. No creamer, just coffee. Coffee, Topo, coffee, Topo, bone broth. That's it. That's the diet. Three days of that, I think will get me back on track. Probably getting in a little bit of a state of ketosis as I've eliminated all sugar for three days. And, um, be feeling pretty good. So I feel good now, but if you see the energy dip tomorrow and the next day, just know it's because I'm only drinking broth. I'm gonna start with Oso's Revive the Gut. It's bone broth, but it has some Chinese herbs infused into the bone broth. So this is just a general beef bone broth. And uh, that also is delicious. I am stocked up on bone broth. I've got some bison here. I have a beef over here. When I moved in, I brought all stuff from my freezer. I think she was horrified how much bone broth I had. So this is probably a good thing anyway to kind of clear out the freezer of all the excess bone broth. So that's the plan. I'll let you know how it goes. And I'm gonna do everything I can to ignore stuff like this. No doubt gonna be a challenge, but it'll be okay. It's time, I'm headed to Stratton Sport and Spine and I'm gonna get all the adjustments and all the things. So, excited to see Brock. Some people are fairly naturally lean and they don't have to worry about such things as diets and cleanses and um, exercise and all that stuff. And that's, that's, that's a beautiful thing. And congratulations, You're, that's, that's amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for y'all. But, that's not me. So, I do have to watch my diet. I have to watch you know, my exercise level. I've gotta do everything that you do to burn calories, you know, or or limit your intake thereof. And I knew where I was because, you know, you know, like everyone, you really know where you're at, you know, and you know, you know it's bad when you're kind of, you're kind of hesitant and a little scared, a little afraid to step on that scale to see exactly where you're at. And uh, okay, that's where I was yesterday. I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna get through Valentine's Day, and after that, it's go time. So. Um, it is go time, today is go time, and I'm go, go, going. This is a selfie from inside the cryo. I'm gonna take you in for an experience like no other. You ready? I hope this doesn't crack the lens. It's so cold in here. Woo. This right here shows you how cold it currently is, which is negative 110. Celsius, slightly on the cold side. It's gonna get up to about negative, what, 125? Transport Spine was the first people in San Antonio to have one of these units. And uh, it's been a blessing to be able to use for the past few years. I'm so cold. All right, we just hit negative 127. It's over, it's over, it's over. Oh. It wasn't that cold. <laughs> I didn't even feel it. All done at Strat Sports Spine. I feel amazing, as usual. This vlog life is so expensive. I broke my camera. Actually, it's not the camera. It's just the mic. But that's 
States. Must see a Best Buy will replace it. I do have the accidental protection on the new camera. I walked in there with the mic all dangling, and uh, because I had the protection plan on this one, they gave me a whole new camera. My three week old camera is gone. Hello to another brand new Canon 80D. Only downside is I lost my YouTube sticker, which I have another one at home I will replace tonight. Um, but that's like, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. I, I, I was not expecting that at all. And um, bravo, Best Buy. Bravo. So you might ask, Justin, how did you break your mic? Well, I wasn't skateboarding or doing anything remotely cool enough to justify breaking a mic. But I'll show you what I do more often than not. So a lot of times the ADD kind of rides shotgun with me. Perhaps I should seatbelt him. I don't know. But he rides shotgun. And what happened was someone pulled out in front of me and I had to slam on the brakes. And this guy went, ah! and then down that direction. Nothing terribly exciting, but I broke the camera in a car accident. <laughs> Okay, bit of bone broth in the pot, heating up right now. So I've had some bone broth and some coffee and some Topo Chico mineral water today and that is it. Um, I feel pretty good, but I am being tested. I am being tested. A friend of the family stopped by the house and dropped off my absolute favorite cake in the world. She just came by and said, hey Justin, I made this amazing Texas chocolate sheet cake for you. And it's fresh, and it smells delicious, and is everything I ever want. But I'm gonna show some strength, and I'm going to put it in the freezer. I'm gonna get through these three days, and I will celebrate maybe this weekend with some cake. But for now, it pains me but I can't have that Texas sheet cake. And that's where I'm at. So wish me luck and stay strong. Eat the cupcake in the right way. How is it? Go ahead. Sandwich cupcake. <laughs> wow, that's a good idea. I, I never thought about that before.